Hi, this is Adi, and today I'm going to show you how to make streaming data available for data scientists in a few minutes. We're going to collect data into Iguazio time series table from an existing Kafka stream, and then create a quick Grafana dashboard and access the data using Python code from Jupyter Notebook. The idea here is to have data scientists getting real-time and fresh data into their data science environment, where they can immediately start working with streaming datasets. So first of all, we need to create a time series table. So I'm going to the services view and then to the shell service. I'm using TSDB CLI. Need to specify the container name, table name with the full path and then the sample rate. Now, if I go back to the data services view under container users folder Adi, I can see my new TSDB tab so it's ready for data ingestion now. I need to go to the services view again and create two services. One is TSDB functions. This service creates nuclear functions for ingesting data into our time series table. And the other one is Grafana for visualization. So click on new service, select the TSDB functions. No need to change anything in the resources setting. Just select the container name and enter the full path of the TSDB table that I created earlier. Click on create service. Then the other service is Grafana. So here we just need to enter the user for accessing the data from Grafana. Click on create service and then click on apply changes. Now that the TSDB function service is ready, I can go to the Functions view. Under Projects, we have this new TSDB Functions project. And there are two functions that were created by the TSDB function service. One is a query function, and the other one is the ingest function. I just need to copy the name of the function as we're going to use it later on. Let's create a new project and call it streaming. Drilling down from the streaming project, now we'll create a new a nuclear function that actually listen to a Kafka stream and write it to our TSDB, TSDB table. Let's call it Kafka TSDB. We can choose an existing uh, template, search for Kafka templates. We have two of them. One is Kafka to TSDB and the other one is Kafka to KV. Click on Kafka to TSDB. Enter the Kafka URL, including the port. Enter the topic name. And paste the ingest function that I copied earlier. I also have an option to choose between latest versus earliest for the Kafka stream, so I keep the latest. Click on Apply, and now Deploy. That's going to create a function that listens to a Kafka stream and ingest the events into our TSDB table. Now, as part of the platform, we also have a Grafana service. So let me show you how we can create a chart and view the events in real time. In order to create a dashboard, click on the plus button. Select the chart type. I want to see it as a graph. Edit. Select Iguazio as a data source. There are two data sources, time series and table. So we'll be using the time series. Add uh, the query. We need to specify the backend type, container name, fields, and metrics. And once we do that, we can immediately see that the data is coming in. In this case, we're looking at a specific metric, and we can also see its labels. From here, we can create more charts and slice and dice reports using all the Grafana features. And that's all you need to do in order to view a Kafka stream in Grafana. Going back to the services screen in the main dashboard, let me open up Jupyter. And I'll show you how you can work with this TSDB data from Jupyter using Python code. I'm using this library called Frames. I just need to set up the Frames client and run this simple code that fetch the data from our 
TSDB table. Now that we've read it as a data frame, you can use pandas and work with this data using your favorite tool. We have a full-fledged data science environment with all the popular Python libraries, so you can play with the data during data exploration or training, and you can work on a real-time data set as well. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.